Hey guys, Mona from My Limit Is Me here. How are you guys doing? I'm here with a video, um, yeah, quite late to be honest, because uh, I should have uploaded this uh, in the middle of last week and I filmed it way before that. So, um, yeah, I've had a busy week to put it like that. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a quick, quick video of me just showing um, how I put the date covers uh, on the yearly overview or whatever you call this part of the Hobonichi cousin and uh, this is the first test uh, print that I made uh, after designing this and uh, <laughs> putting this uh, strip down for the first time I realized that's going to be a struggle for me I'm not the best at getting these um, stickers straight uh, but after a few uh, tries, it does kind of, um, well, it doesn't look that bad, is <laughs> all I can say. Uh, but yeah, I'm really loving how these uh, stickers look. Uh, I've got, I have made them in uh, two different color schemes or palettes. And I have also made them in English and Norwegian, uh, mostly because uh, my biggest uh, customer... Uh, group is Norwegian, so I thought uh, they probably appreciate the language as well. And since it's my language too, it's an easy fix. So, uh, so I made it in both. What I did realize after doing, because uh, I did this after some measures of uh, a, a template, sort of, uh, and I realized the measures are they're so perfect. They um, they are very easy to get. Um, wrong in the sense that they do cover th these strips they cover the uh, year and the letters on the other side perfectly if you get the strip perfectly lined up which means if you mess up just a little bit which I did a few times you're gonna see uh, what was written underneath on top or on the bottom and you can see that on the right lower side um, that it does show a little bit um, so I made these washi strips a little bit thicker uh, so that you don't have to struggle with that uh, <laughs> the way I just did uh, and I covered up the part that bothered me the most with the coffee penguins that I added in the kit because why not I got extra space so here's a couple of penguins um, <laughs> Uh, that's very very straightforward uh, and um, I have sped up this video a little bit but not a lot uh, because it's very short but I do get that putting these stickers down like there are 12 months there are three calendars that's like 36 times it's uh, <laughs> it's not the most uh, entertaining thing so uh, I've done the Hobonichi Cousin on camera, I've done the Hobonichi Weeks off camera because I designed that a few days later. Uh, and uh, it's all the same but I didn't film that. I made, took a couple of pictures and uh, posted them on Facebook and Instagram. But I didn't, I didn't film it because I can't see the... Um, I don't know, maybe it's me. I just thought that two videos about this have to be boring, so yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, if uh, that came a little bit out of the blue, um, it, it's in my nature to be restless. So if I feel like I want something, uh, I tend to think about it a little bit and end up going for it anyway. So I bought the only two weeks as well. I do not know yet. Um, how I'm going to use it because I have a hard time explaining what I need it for <laughs> uh, but I, I'm loving how it is I had um, a planner last year that was a whole bunch of weeks like it was the same measures um, more or less but it obviously wasn't the same quality of paper or 
the same quality of binding in the book or anything. So uh, having the real thing this year is going to be lots of fun. I just have to find a way to use it. Uh, I did use the previous one as some sort of memory keeping, um, like an overview or snapshots of the days. Uh, and I do like that, but I do have a memory keeping uh, journal, which means it's sort of redundant. So it's a lot of fun to make um, like snapshots with with stickers and I get to test out the different sticker kits and use them and play with them and it's a lot of fun but I kind of feel bad for not finding a real practical practical use for it uh, so I hope to find something a little bit more useful uh, I did think about using it for social media but I do intend to use my dingbats notebook for that um, but yeah, I might use my ding back for memory keeping then, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I have, to <laughs> I have to find a reason for why I have it other than just making sticker kits for it. Because um, yeah, that's fun. But um, I, I think I need a little bit more, more than that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's um, you, you're going to see me using it for making, uh, well, putting down the secret kits uh, for December because the Open two Weeks actually start the the weekly um, layouts in December so I can have a play around with my Christmas kits which uh, I'm really looking forward to and I might also this is a maybe, I don't know but I might do some sort of monthly kits for the weeks too uh, but we'll see, we'll see I haven't, I haven't decided <laughs> on that at all yet um I haven't started on January for the Hobonichi Kosin either and I should be doing that because it's not that far far away. Time is ticking and I'm getting stressed just by saying that out loud. So we're halfway through November already and I haven't gotten a lot done to be honest. So it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is how the overview ended up looking and I love it. I think it's colorful and pretty so very happy with that um, and then I just went on to package a couple of orders I had and I thought well I am filming so let's film that too so you're gonna see uh, the the process I do it's pretty much straightforward um, ideally you're not gonna see the content of the bigger envelope because it was a custom order so I didn't ask the uh, customer for permission to show what she ordered, so um, I'm gonna leave that off camera. Hopefully I did leave that off camera, <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna have to edit it out, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I got the small order, uh, well, small in, in the size, this is the big one, upside down, um, and then the small one. And what I do, I put the sticker sheets in uh, plastic bags in in order to keep them safe from rain or well, any kind of um, uh, substance that can damage them uh, in the uh, while sending them. Uh, and then I include some sort of freebie. I always do that. I think it's um, well, I like to receive them, so I tend to send them. <laughs> um, and then I. Uh, try to include a personal note and uh, seal up the envelopes. I write the address uh, on them by hand. I've tried to make them uh, using stickers and um, how should I put it? It's, um, it's tedious. <laughs> Making stickers just for a couple of um, address labels here and there takes more time than actually just writing them out. So unless I get a label machine, uh, which is not on my immediate uh, to buy list. Uh, that's not something uh, I intend to invest in because it does cost a little bit. Uh, I don't make money in that sense of the word of this business. So investing money in things I don't need is like something I shouldn't do. So, um, so yeah, but if I ever win the lottery or something, that's probably something that I will consider maybe <laughs> um, 
but yeah so I'm not going to uh, elaborate a little more in that uh, you've seen <laughs> the the image uh, standing still for a while there because I was looking for some things to add to the to the envelopes um, I could have edited that out I probably would have if I hadn't talked over it and I'm seeing the clock is ticking so I'm just gonna leave it like that and hope I didn't bore you to death uh, but yeah I just want to include how I uh, package the uh, the sticker sheets so that's the current freebie with a little bit of um, Christmas uh, some Christmas stickers winter stickers and the freebies are normally my penguins because they are drawn by me um, so yeah I like to do it like that uh, so I'll put that in the plastic bag with the freebie, a couple of die cuts maybe, and uh, send it away, basically. So, very straightforward, no mystery there. And then the memo pad or sticky notes is basically just to write something to the customer. Um, and I'm always to, um, equally uh, <laughs> wondering if they'll get the envelope in one piece because uh, you never know um, but haven't had any complaints so far so so far so good I guess uh, but yeah uh, that's about it I think I've run out of uh, nonsense to talk to you about so uh, I'm gonna wish you a nice day and uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video uh, like the video if you liked it consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this or my normal content for the last day uh, and yeah stay safe I'll talk to you guys later bye